Hello Aquarius, how are you guys doing? In this reading we are getting advice from your future self. So I want to clear the space of any previous readings that I've done and energies that have been on this table and send the positive vibes through to you guys out there from this amazing herbs that I'm burning here. So what I'm going to do in this reading, I'm going to get a card out now that represents your energy currently right now and then I'm going to get another card out that's going to be your future self's energy. I also want to try to see if I can't pick up on your aura. I've been doing it through all the all the um the readings and it's really interesting what comes up here kind of like talks about how you managing right now and what's going on with you so very interesting you've got the star card here in this deck it's called heal there is a lot of stuff here you're trying to get your life to a place where it's your dream come true um but you need to release yourself from the past first to get to your dream come true, which is the star card, you need to release yourself from the past. This is a very strong reading for you, Aquarius, especially if this re resonates with you, because the star card is your card in the tarot. Okay, so this is like a message coming for you. If you're like trying to reach your your dream, but you got a lot of stuff that you need to let go of, you also might be feeling chained as well and being unable to move forward. The only way you're going to move forward is literally to heal pain with inside of you. So I want to see now, what will your future self be thanking you for? Let's see, in the future, to be patient. <laughs> to be patient. Your future self will thank you to be patient at this point in time. With the hangman card coming up here and the two of swords, they literally, your future self is literally going, yes, we know you're afraid. We know you're afraid about the future. We know you're not sure. We know you um, don't even know maybe quite... If you're going to be able to get to your dream life and be able to build the life that you have because you've got the two of swords here it kind of like shows me that you're scared that you're going to get hurt in the future you're afraid of what is going to unfold you don't even know what's going to unfold because you look the person is blindfolded here this is a very quite emotional time for you as well um i've already picked up on your aura color by the way which is a good color um it's positive for where you are right now the hangman energy is literally your future self going just hold hold on hang in there hang in there a little bit longer stay around a little bit longer you're still going to see some things unfolding that you have not yet seen which is going to be positive energy still so i want to see what must you be focused on right now let's see what's this how are you feeling how are you feeling there's your high priestess Whoa. You need to focus on what's going on with you right now. That's why the healing card is coming up here. You need to focus on what is happening inside of you. You see, you've got the two of swords and the four of pentacles here. You know, the two of swords and the four of pentacles, sometimes they kind of remind me of the same kind of energy. Um, one is more up in the head, though. The swords energy always indicates what you think about, the fear that you have, what thoughts go on in your mind. With the four of pentacles, it's more about, sometimes I feel like the pentacle energy, especially four of pentacles, it tells me it's more about this energy of how your energy body feels right now. And sometimes I feel like you feel like you're heavy. You know what I mean? Like you can't make the changes that you want to make. There's even this feeling of you going, maybe I can never do that. I can never really make those changes. The, your, your future self is going... You need to look at the energy that you're carrying right now. With the High Priestess coming up here, that's a card that's a very spiritual energy with High Priestess as well. It talks about going deeper inside. It talks about looking at what is causing you to feel the way that you're feeling. And there is no way you solve a problem, especially with the High Priestess coming up here, unless you work on it from a spiritual point of view. So if you have if you're in a place where you're trying to be set free from something or you're trying to bring in the future for yourself and at that point in time you're finding it hard to do so this can even be a blockage that we're looking at here you need to know um the only way you're going to heal something like this or move past a point where you've been blocked from getting what you want is to work on it from a spiritual place, which can even be doing things like smudging out and um, practical little steps that you can take, L doing meditation, you know, something simple like if you're closer to the ocean, going for a swim in the, swim in the ocean and asking that salt water and the ocean, the energy of water, the spirit of water, as I would call it, to come in with that salt of healing energy and just wash over you and release anything that's from you that's blocking you. These kind of steps are going to help you to break the chains that's holding you. So now I want to see what do you need to cut off here? The star cards come up twice now in your reading. 
with the moon card, which is Pisces' energy as well coming in here, may mean something to you. Um, the heel energy has come up twice in your reading. It is the star card. You have a decision to make here. What you need to cut off is this feeling that you're never going to get your dreams come true. You have to make a decision about what you're going to do in the future here. You... The decision that you have to make is to give up on the belief that you will never get what you need or never have the life that you want to have. Because the star card in the reverse position, I mean, if this is your dream come true, yeah, I'm working on my dream come true. If the star card's in the reverse position with the moon card above it, it's almost like I'm going, what if my dream never comes true? What if the unknown in the future? There's a doubt inside of you, yeah, that you won't be able to reach your goals, in, like basically. And if you're carrying that energy, you need to release that energy. It's something that you need to let go of there's an energy shift inside of you that needs to happen like i'm telling you it's got to come from a spiritual point of view from a soul level where it's almost like you got to cry it out or you got to write it out and write down how you're feeling and then burn it and let it go you know and allow that energy to kind of come in for you so that you can release the doubt about not being able to achieve your goals in the future this is very very interesting and um, this is i feel like it's got more to do with life in general than just like a really it can have to do with a relationship but it's got to do with a lot of different things yeah a lot of different blockages advice from your future self do not look at what has gone wrong do not look at what people have done wrong to you what is going on in this reading look at what can go right oh my god sure i'm just saying this is just a heavy reading um do not look at what has gone wrong the justice card in the reverse position, a lot of stuff has gone wrong here. A lot of people have wronged you and it was wrong what they did. You cannot allow this to hold you back. You cannot allow the pain of the past and what people have done to you to affect you moving forward. You've got to get the Ace of Wands back in you. You've got to have hope for the future here. You've got to have this feeling that everything is going to be okay and not hold on to the fear that absolutely nothing will work out for you. Things are going to be okay here. I want to see now You've also got a beautiful aura energy. I'm going to explain to you now why I'm saying that. Um, currently, what you know, our aura color changes according to what's going on around us. So right now, um, I want to see what your future energy energy is like. Oh, this card has been coming up a lot. I love it. Nurturing. You're going to be fine. You've got the Empress energy that is coming here. This is a beautiful card. You are going to feel in a place like you belong somewhere. Um, this also indicates the home being in balance as well. It indicates the feeling of yourself being in balance and the energy of you caring for yourself, but as well, I also feel like it's other people caring for you as well. The main energy that's coming through here is this energy of you feeling in balance of yourself and feeling at calm and at peace. Uh, the healing is going to take place. The healing without a doubt is taking place in you. You are going to see the evidence of that healing very, very soon around you. Um, I, the energy that I picked up from you from the beginning, and it was, and it's so interesting. It's actually blue. I picked up on this blue energy in you. Um, one of the things I picked it up in the immediately in the beginning before I even turned the first card, and then I noticed now as well. There's a blue in your heart chakra area, and every card on this table has got blue in it. Even the Empress here has got a blue in the dress there as well wow um you are going to move out of this energy you are going to find the peace that you are looking for and um there is the by the way this is also associated with the throat chakra energy as well so i would say there's it could be a blockage in your throat chakra as well with regards to maybe speaking up about what you want or standing up for yourself um you can work on the throat chakra energy by doing some very simple things, which is a spiritual way of doing things as well, which is literally sing, <laughs> shout, scream, make a noise, talk, you know. Um, one of the best things you can ever do is like literally sing to open the throat chakra. Like in the shower, just sing. In the car, just sing. It does something. It causes a vibration there, which literally helps to balance your chakra energy. That is going to help you a lot towards where you are going in your future, which is actually a very nurturing place. I feel like you're healing a blockage here. The blue energy as well is an energy of healing as well, which comes up also in the healing card of the star card twice here. You are going to reach your dream. You have to know that. You have to believe that you're going to come out of this place where you are currently, where you feel like you're not okay, where you feel like you need to 
be safe. You're going to do this through a spiritual means, whatever that means for you. I mean, if you decide I'm going to go off and go buy some sage and I'm going to sage myself and sage my house out, everything, do that. If you feel like um, you want to go sit under a tree and let the earth pull the energy through the tree of whatever is blocking you out of you, go do that. Go do some research on how you can remove blockages and, and go and do whatever it is you feel you should be doing. But it is going to bring in this beautiful energy of healing for you yeah, in the future. There we go, Cruz. I'm sending you light and love. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.